All right, so what we're going to do today, right now, is we're going to talk about our thermal protective aid, or TPA. All right, we have Coach Shields here. She's going to help us demonstrate in the suit kind of how to put it on. I'll talk to you a little bit about the suit itself, what it has, when you use it, where it'll be uh, available to you. All right, so the first thing is the TPAs come in very small packages. All right, this one right now is, is out of the package. On the package itself, we'll have a description, all right, step by step, how to put it on. But obviously, in this class, you're learning how to do that. All right. So what we're going to do, though, all right, is when you would have it. All right. You only wear a thermal protective aid out of the water. You do not wear it in the water, which is why we're also going to demonstrate, show you, Coach Gill will show you how to remove it if, for some reason, you were to be in the water. The thermal protective aids are found in the life rafts or the lifeboats. Okay? These are here to help reduce hypothermia or bring you back from a hypothermic state. All right? So you go in the water, you're, you get into the life raft, you're shivering, you're cold, you're feeling like you're going to get hypothermic, you put on the TPA. All right? So the way the TPA is, is basically a giant sleeping bag all right, with arms, but you have no dexterity or no fingers. Okay, it's not like the emergency suits, all right? But it is put on very similarly uh, as far as the first couple of steps, all right? So the first step would be taking it out of the package and then laying it out and unfolding it so it lays flat. So the zipper side is up, and you can see the opening in the front. It does have a pull string around the hood that you would tighten, all right? You will end up looking like Kenny from South Park with just your eyes showing, all right, once you get it fully on. So what Coach Shields is going to do, the first step is you're going to step in, sit down on the chest just like the emergency suit, and place your feet all the way in to the bottom of the sleeping bag. You're going to bring it all the way down, shimmy herself there, so that she has room to then get it on. So the first thing you can do is you're going to put one arm in, she's going to reach back. Lean back so that that hood has some room to get around the life jacket. Before you put your dominant arm in, you're actually going to take your non-dominant arm back out. And there is an interior and exterior zipper. You're going to pull the interior zipper using two fingers and two hands. And gently and easily pull it up into your chest. So she can take her other arm out. She'll zip it up so that it's all the way up. Then she can tighten the hood with the string, make it nice and easy. And then once you're fully in, you then put your arms back in. Kenny from South Park, right? So what we have here, all right, is the emergency suit on. Again, this can be done standing up or laying down depending on how large a space you have. If you're in a life raft, you'd probably be doing it sitting down, laying down where you can get it on. If somebody has to help you and put it on, they can do that as well. All right? So you can have multiple people. For the testing, you'll have to do it yourself. What we're going to do now is we're going to pan over to Coach Gill. All right? Coach Gill is in the water. He is now going to remove the TPA. You have two minutes for your testing to remove the TPA. What Coach Gill is going to do is he's going to reach in, pull apart the zipper, and then he's going to shimmy shake and kick out and swim away from the suit. So he's completely clear of the suit and has no problems. The most important thing is that what you've seen is both have had their life jackets on. You should always have your life jacket on. These are not able to swim in. If you don't have your jacket on and you go into a TPA and you go in the water, they can be uh, very dangerous and basically having you drown. So make sure that you are wearing your life jacket at all times.